in a quaint village nestled between rolling hills and lush green valleys. There lived a young woman named Leela. Leela was known throughout the village for her unparalleled weaving skills. She could take the most delicate threads and transform them into intricate tapestries that seemed to come alive with colors and patterns. Her creations were in high demand, and villagers from neighboring towns would often visit just to witness the magic of her loom. Leela was content with her life, finding joy in her craft and the admiration it brought her from others. Yet, like any human, she couldn't help but sometimes cast her eyes toward the horizon and wonder about the larger world. Beyond her village, she longed to see distant lands, meet new people, and experience the diverse cultures that existed outside her familiar surroundings. One day, a group of merchants passing through the village caught sight of Leela's exquisite tapestries. They recognized the immense potential her talent held for their trade. The merchants approached Leela with an offer that seemed too good to refuse. They would take her tapestries to faraway markets and sell them on her behalf. In return, she would receive a share of the profits, enough to travel and explore the world. Leela was torn. The idea of seeing the world was irresistible. But she worried about her tapestries being mishandled or not receiving the appreciation they deserved. After days of contemplation, she made her decision. She agreed to the merchant's proposal and entrusted them with her precious creations. As the months passed, Leela's tapestries began to make waves in the distant markets. They were highly sought after, fetching prices she could never have imagined. News of her talent spread like wildfire, and her name became synonymous with beauty and artistry. The merchants kept their promise, sending her a portion of the profits, and Leela's dream of seeing the world suddenly felt within reach. However, despite her newfound success, a shadow of unease began to creep into Leela's heart. She realized that while she was now wealthy and renowned, she had lost control over her tapestries. She had no say in where they were sold, how they were displayed or who owned them. The joy she once derived from weaving had been replaced by anxiety about the fate of her creations. One day, a letter arrived from the merchants. They had decided to sell one of Leela's most exquisite tapestries to a distant king. A man known for his opulent lifestyle and a tendency to disregard the true value of art. Leela's heart sank. She had poured her soul into that particular piece, and now it was destined to adorn a palace wall, likely overlooked by its owner. Filled with a mixture of regret and determination, Leela made a bold decision. She withdrew her remaining savings and embarked on a journey to retrieve her tapestry. When she arrived at the palace, she was met with skepticism and resistance. The king surrounded by his courtiers, couldn't fathom why she would want to take back a piece of cloth he deemed a mere decoration. With unwavering resolve, Leela approached the tapestry hanging in the grand hall. She gently touched the threads, closing her eyes as if communicating with her creation. Then, she began to unravel it, thread by thread, until she held the individual fibers in her hands. The courtiers gasped in disbelief. But Leela's actions held a profound message. With tears in her eyes, she spoke to the king and his courtiers. I have learned a valuable lesson. While the world may appreciate my tapestries, I have lost sight of what truly matters. The process, the connection, and the love I poured into each thread. I can't control where my art ends up or how it's perceived. But I can control the passion and dedication I put into my work. And that is what truly matters. The king, moved by her words and actions, realized the depth of his own shallowness. He returned the tapestry to Leela. And she left the palace with a newfound sense of purpose. Leela returned to her village, where she continued to weave, not for fame or wealth 
but for the love of her craft. She shared her story with the villagers, teaching them that focusing on what they could control, their dedication, their effort, and their passion, would lead to a life of true fulfillment. And so, the weaver of happiness spent her days creating art that resonated with souls, sharing her wisdom and inspiring others to find contentment within themselves. Leela's name became synonymous with authenticity, and her tapestries, though fewer in number, carried a beauty and depth that captivated hearts for generations to come.